A DNA double helix is formed when the nitrogenous bases from two single strands join together using the complementary base pairing rule. In this rule, guanine pairs with cytosine and adenine with thymine, and they join with hydrogen bonds. Notice that the G and the C have three hydrogen bonds between them, while the A and the T have two. The DNA double helix is formed when a nucleotide joins with another nucleotide, forming first of all a single strand, and we demonstrated this in an earlier video, those nucleotides are joined by covalent bonds. But these single strands are attached to another single strand as the nitrogenous base pairs are paired using the complementary base pairing rule. Please note that the two strands are what we call anti-parallel. The one on the right is pointing, if you like, up, while the one on the left is pointing uh, the opposite direction, uh, down, shown by the arrows. Finally, the two strands will twist around one another to form a DNA double helix, as shown.